So now I'm going to show you how to add greenery to floral arrangements. And greenery is the base of any kind of floral arrangement you do, whether that's a wedding floral centerpiece or a bouquet or anything else. So I like to use greens that have a lot of texture and I like to mix different kinds of greens in the same vase or in the same bouquet. So today I'm going to be working with some pittosporum and some geranium just to give a soft fluffy texture and then to give a little bit more spiky texture. So when you're using greens in a vase, like for a wedding centerpiece, you want to make sure that you measure them. Like everything else we're doing, we always want to have a clean stem. Anything that falls below the water line is going to have to be clean and cut at a sharp angle, 45 degree angle, and then placed in the water. Now the greens in a floral arrangement are the absolute foundation. They're the structure, they're the center. So you want to begin in your vase by just placing different greens at different heights and you can always cut them shorter. You can always place taller greens in, but I want to start to create my structure and the shape of my arrangement using the greens. And I'm starting to mix things together and turn the vase as I go, clean the leaves off as I go. I like where this is going with the pittosporum. That's giving us the height and the geranium is giving us some softness and filling in. And as I fill in with the greens, I'm actually creating a little bit of a grid inside the vase. And ultimately, when you start to put your flowers in, the greenery grid is going to serve as your skeleton or your frame. So keep that in mind as you add the greens and keep peeking into your vase and looking to see that the stems are crossing and creating that really tight structure for you. I can add some in high, I can add some in low. Once I get this arrangement of greens to the place where I feel like there's enough structure where I can start to put some florals in, I can do that. And then if I need to fill in with more greens as I go, I can. But right now it looks like I have a pretty strong structure. We can test it out with a flower. And if the flower is able to basically stand up or be supported by the other greens, you're in business. That's how you green for a wedding centerpiece.